A man who's been at the center of a number of Larry Barker investigations may finally be running out of strikes. The city of Albuquerque is finally moving to get rid of the man's problem property, known as the Pig House. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is live near Louisiana in Copper. Jeannie. Jessica, the city has given the owner of this house back here chance after chance to clean his property, but now neighbors are finally going to get what they've wanted for the past 20 years. Slowly but surely, it's come back into violation. I mean, typically we explain these things, uh, the violation resolves itself, this is the opposite. The house on Mesilla Street near Louisiana and Copper has been a problem for the city for more than 20 years. On top of collecting trash, Larry Barker investigations have also found pigs living in the house at one point. The city has taken the owner, John Gallegos, to court numerous times for failing to maintain his home and still nothing. <laughs> The city's planning and zoning department removed tons of trash and junk from the property this past summer. You want to talk to the news? No, I'm not. You don't want to give them your side of the story? I don't know why you keep bringing them over here for. But the city says the mess has returned. The last couple times that code enforcement has been out, uh, they've noticed uh, both visually uh, as well as uh, uh, through the odor of rotten food. Now the city says they've had enough. And we're hoping that this proposal uh, moves through the process and that we're able to uh, to clean that property and demolish that house. A resolution will be introduced at City Council tonight to move forward with plans to condemn the property and then eventually demolish it. The city says Gallegos had a year to bring the property back into livable conditions with no success. What does John ever do? He collects trash. But neighbors like Jim Monlock have little hope that even a demolition will solve the problem. John is tricky. That property might turn into a vacant lot that he can fill full of junk now. The city has actually had to come back to this house back in October to remove a few more tons of trash. We tried calling the owner for comment, but we did not hear back. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. The city estimates it will cost $24,000 for the demolition and cleanup. The money is recovered by placing a lien on the property.